I've been talking about a couple things that limit our memory and that we're not really good at in terms of just trying to remember a bunch of random objects or items or a list of things. Um, that's really difficult for our brains. We're not designed for that. But what we are good at is something called visual spatial memory. And what that means is visual for visual, so what you can see, and spatial for space, right? Things around you, right? Where things are located. Um, especially in relation to each other. So what this means is we're actually really good with visual spatial memory. And that means that we can imagine images and really remember fine detail in an image. And we also are really good at remembering where things are um, in relation to other things. So for instance, I'm showing you this random picture of some little kid's bedroom that I found on the internet, right? You could look at this and study this for 20 seconds, you know, while I'm talking. And then if I had you close your eyes and imagine this picture, you could probably see it pretty well and tell me uh, a number of the things, items in the room. You would probably remember, you know, at least 10 to 12 different things that are in this room by looking at this picture that you've never seen before and remembering. I mean, some of you might even remember more than 10 or 12 items. But again, in just a short amount of time, 20 seconds, which would never be enough of time to try to remember all these different items if I just had them as a random list, you imagining it as a picture would make you be able to do it. So our brains are designed for that. Our brains are designed to see things and remember what we see because it's, it's more important to us in the way um, our brains work. So you can also think about this. Imagine wherever you spend the most time at home, if you just close your eyes right now, you could probably see everything exactly where it is in um, perfect relation to each other and recite everything in that space, um, which could be up to 100 different things with little to no problem. But again, if I asked you to recite a list of those things, um, it'd be very difficult for you. So this is what we're good at. This is how our brain is designed. So the next step is for us to figure out how we can use that to our advantage when looking at a list of things like this and get over the difficulties and the weaknesses our brains have um, from the things that we mentioned before. So I'll show you a list right next and then we'll jump into figuring out how we can overcome it.